Hey Aries, it is me, Alan, and I'm here to bring you for your weekly tarot. My voice sounds like a cell phone. It's breaking up and skipping out. Come on, vocal cords. Aries needs their reading. Ooh, strength. Okay. Nine of Cups. Managing Ego Pride. Six of Swords. Distance. Lovers. Queen of Wands. Judgment. Six of Cups is on the bottom. I'm taking that too. With the Sun card. A happy return. A resurrection. Aries, there's you, Aries, in the feminine position, right? Queen of Wands is Aries in the moon position. Uh, you have Leo here, bookending your reading. I just read for Leo. Emotional fulfillment. Mm, distance with lovers. There's an attraction. Resurrecting. And reigniting love and happiness love and happiness I feel like you're trying your hardest to stay put or endure through some sort of situation so you can get to the prize so you can get to the love and happiness so love and happiness can grow yeah you're trying to manage your ego and pride and um Maybe temper for some of you. Strength is is that Mars energy inside of you. That's Leo, right? Uh, strength card. But you're ruled by Mars. So I kind of feel like you're, you're trying to manage and control your Martian self. Mm, okay. And I feel like you're doing that because... There could be somebody new you're attracted to or attracted to you. Yeah, look at that praying. Ooh, Emperor. Hey, Aries. Devil, you're afraid of a departure. Okay, that's bringing a little flavor in here. This could represent codependence as well. Um, angels are also saying too, moving away from toxicity or the red flags. I don't yet know how that's going to, that's going to apply yet. Divine partnership here. Six of cups. Ooh. I feel like you're ready to fall back in love or be open up to love again. Aries. Nice. Nine of wands. You're being protective about your happiness. It's almost like you're afraid to be happy. You're afraid to be. You're afraid to allow yourself to get too comfortable. Yet, Nine of Wands is being guarded, right? Protective, defensive. I'm also getting the air of control, right? Like you're controlling your happiness. You're making sure you're staying on top of something. Now, what I just also heard too for you specifically, Aries, you don't do this love thing too well right the the wishy-washiness of emotions or that whole bubblegum you know unconditional um uh teenage love you don't like that shit you're like listen i have the emperor here with the nine of cups it's almost like even if you're happy even if you are in love you don't like showing that shit it's like yeah i love you now shut the fuck up right <laughs> i definitely can see an aries saying something like that This to me is almost like um, the strength of your faith and power, right? Like there is a power in faith. There's a power in believing. There's a power in hope. And controlling the good times. Good luck with that. Let me know how that shit works out. I'm going to say this. And, and I may lose some street cred because I'm saying this, especially to you, Aries. I'm sorry. I think y'all are most powerful when you are in your emotional space. I think you are probably the, you know, one of the strongest signs, hands down, right? Hands down. Um, but I feel like you feel like your Achilles heel is your emotions, similar to Scorpio, which 
is not on the table. It's Scorpio is here in judgment, right? But you have a lot of strong, you know, have the double Taurus, that bull in the China shop. I got Apollo and Leo here with the sun and Aries with Mars and Capricorn with Saturn's karmic ass. There's some really powerhouse planets on this table. So I kind of feel like you're learning how to manage that courageous, masculine, Martian energy with your heart. Because I feel like you could be dealing with either Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. Air sign with an earth sign, right? Taurus is an earth sign. This is who you're dealing with. So it's almost like you're dealing with a softy, somebody who's emotional, vulnerable, you know, tender, <laughs> right? And it's almost like, ugh. <laughs> Aries is like, ugh. <laughs> but you love this boo-boo, or you like this boo-boo, or, or they make you smile, right? I wonder if the emperor has teeth, right? Because <laughs> you never see the emperor smile. You don't. Anytime the emperor is de depicted, he ain't smiling. But with the nine of cups, that's emotional fulfillment, right? Um, but you're nervous about it. So something in your life right now, Aries, is begrudgingly making you happy. It's like, damn it. <laughs> I kind of like this person. I don't like that I like them. And I do kind of feel like you are struggling, right? There could be distance between you guys, your Martian obsessiveness, your brute force, right? Is, is possibly obsessing over distance, maybe wanting to close out that distance. Um, this is mother and lovers, right? So this person could maybe remind you of your mom or very, or are very nurturing, tender, you know, angels are saying they could remind you of your mother. I'm not going to take that away from you or make that gross because it's not right. In other words, this person is very nurturing, very compassionate, very caring. They, they, they're loving on you. And queen of wands, that's your attraction and your dynamism. Hard word for me to say dynamism. Um, you're attracting more love right now. Maybe you're in your feminine energy. Yeah, because you got the Emperor with the Nine of Cups. Maybe you're feeling, dare I say it, Aries, sensitive. Maybe you're needing love and compassion and your kabooboo snuggling up under you. Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups. Um, you want to be in love again. Judgment in the Nine of Pentacles. It's almost like I'm tired of being single. I have everything except for love. But then when love returns, then that's when you get all defensive and overly protective and nervous. Boy, I resonate with this. I do. Because it's almost, it's a push-pull, two of pentacles, right? It's almost like you, you want it, right? You, like you complain that you don't have it. And then when you get it, it's like, ugh, <laughs> it's too much. I didn't ask for all of this love. Just a little bit of love, right? Like it, it, something is out of balance here related to some sort of emotions or happiness or heart. Nine of Wands is, is woundedness, right? Nine of Wands is you've had your ass kicked all over this universe, Aries. And I feel like maybe some happiness, some joy, some good times will do you good to help you, you know, kind of heal from maybe the woes of your relationship or your love life. The sun card is the happiest card in the tarot. It, it illuminates, it enlightens, it shines light on certain things. You know what I mean? But the sun is also dangerous too, right? Playing with fire, you are a fire sign um, with the nine of wands. So for a lot of you, you know, it, it feels like an addiction. I'm not going to say an addiction to happiness, but it's almost like you have this love hate relationship with happiness, right? Just like your love life, you feel like when you want it, you don't have enough. And then when you get it, it's too much. Oh my goodness. Aries, you are not a sign of duality, but I feel like for some of you, you could have a Gemini in your chart. 
Um, I would venture to say Libra in your chart. Those are my duality signs. The last one is also Pisces. I also see Scorpio, Scorpio as a sign of duality as well. Because Scorpio is transformational. They do go from light to dark. Scorpio is ruled by your planet, which is Mars, and then also Pluto. So I do kind of feel like you're going back and forth about some sort of matter of the heart, Aries. And it's annoying the fuck out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do. Three of Cups, happiness. Ooh, this one fell on the floor. Look at this. Two of Swords, three of, three of Wands. These cards both fell on the floor. Two of Swords, Three of Wands. So here, here it's almost like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. This to me is almost like you're, you're always expecting maybe someone to leave. That's why you're uncomfortable with happiness and joy. Because you know, to you, it feels short-lived. Oh. Oh. I gotcha. There could be an implication here um, from your mom or maybe how you were raised. Maybe you're wanting the, yeah, look at that four cups. So it's almost like you go, you meet somebody and the emotions, you're flooded with the emotions. There's emotional fulfillment. There's happiness and joy. Then after a while, there's a fear that it just drifts away. Either your person goes away, you go away, you guys um, fall apart you you fall out of love with each other fall out of like with each other and i feel like this is a repeated cycle that's why the devil is here this is a karmic cycle because right now you're emotionally numb it's almost like you cannot bring yourself to fully love or enjoy or uh enjoy this moment because maybe all you're focusing on is them floating away or moving going away Knight of Cups, you're attracting new love. Love is returning. Maybe someone from the past wants to return. I know that came out in the previous reading. There's Scorpio. And Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords. Yeah, look at this. This is crazy. Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands with the Sun card. So it's almost like a, a ha happiness is presenting itself to you, Aries. And you're like, I, I didn't call for no happiness right now. Or I don't know what to do. What you want me to do with this happiness, Alex? I don't want to overindulge in it because it's going to be short-lived. Ooh. I will give you advice, Aries, about something that worked for me. Because I, I, you know, suffer from anhedonia. And which is basically, you know, not being able to feel pleasure right? Because anytime something great would happen, I'd be like, ah, well, something bad will happen. So it's almost like I don't even give myself permission to be happy about things. So what I've started to do was celebrate the small things as much as I wanted to, right? So it's almost like if something good is happening, right? Celebrate it, have fun in this moment, in that moment, right? Take one moment at a time. Okay. Whether it moves on, it floats away, it drifts off, whatever the case is, live in the moment, right? You can't live in the future. It's impossible. You should not be living living in the past. It's impossible. All you ever have is this current moment, okay? So if you can keep your mind out of the future, the fear of it drifting off or going away or, you know, you guys falling out of whatever, communication with each other let's call it let's just focus on the right now you know what I mean if you're happy right now just be happy give yourself permission to be happy that's really the key is giving yourself permission to be happy now here's here's why this is important if you're always looking for looking for the exits or looking for something to end you're going to teach the universe that behavior so the universe is going to create that rhythm that momentum that says oh no just bring it in for two minutes Aries is going to shut down after two minutes so only bring it in for two minutes and then it'll be gone okay that's why you want to come in and expand as an example that two minutes into three minutes or 30 minutes or three hours or three days or three weeks or three months right you want to stretch out your happiness periods because the universe will start to stretch them out too through law of attraction. 
So right now, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands, Sun card. Right now, straw that broke the camel's back, Nine of Pentacles, sorry, Nine of Swords, you're stressed, you're worried, you're not sleeping at night. I have nine, 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 and I thought I saw one, one more. Nine. You have a lot of nines here. Nines is fulfillment. So it's almost like, are you jumping to the end of something even before the end has a chance to arrive, right? So I would say to you, one, two, three, four, five nines, five times nine is 45, four plus five is nine. Any, any multiple of nine is nine, right? Any nine times one is nine. Um, nine times two is 18. One plus eight is nine. Nine times three is 27. Two plus seven is nine. They all equate to nine. So I kind of feel like you're hitting a, a pinnacle, right? You're hitting that point of something's got to give, something's got to change. And it all starts in between your ears. It all starts with your approach, your mind, your vision, right? Not only that, but with the emperor and the empress here, this to me is my, these are my God cards, right? God in the masculine, God in the feminine, the creator, the ruler, the decision maker, the logic of the universe, the intelligence of the universe, the flow of the universe, right? Right here. So I kind of feel like the universe is begging you, Aries, to rebalance, regroup, recuperate, bring the happiness and joy in instead of maybe the numbness, the denial, the stress, the woundedness. You, you are very heavy in your reading in that, but you do have a bunch of beautiful cups, the nine of cups, the six of cups twice, the page of cups. There's love around you, the three of cups. There's love all around you. It's just up to you to see it, to process it, to interpret it, to celebrate it, okay? So this turned out to be a good reading, at least in my opinion. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, Aries, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you, Aries. Bye.